So we're just tacking this seed in here, as you can see, a little bit in time lapse. And I just wanted to show you a tiny little tip, and this may be obvious, apologies if it is, but when you're putting up a full sheet like this uh, first, you know, we only get, as you can see, a couple of screws in each side. And there is the chance that this, uh, with just a few screws in the sheet, could fall down. So what we do, or what I do, is when you put, let's try and get right, when you put the first screw in, if you leave it down so that the bulge head of the screw doesn't pierce the bottom side of the paper, it will allow that screw to hold much more of the board. Whereas, um, and you can see I've done the same here, look. What you'll find is, as I said, the board will um, not want to pull through that screw because you've kept the head outside of the paper. So as you can see here, look, when you screw them up through, you've got one less layer of paper to hold the board. So it's just a little tip. Uh, saved me many times and I did probably learn the hard way by screwing it up and putting the screw exactly flush and then uh, going to get another screw from the board's falling down on my head. So just a quick tip, I hope that helps. Sorry, I should have added, <laughs> just so there's no confusion. Um, obviously, once the board is up and you've got more screws in, obviously, then you would re-sync those screws that you left down slightly. You'd re-sync them flush. Obviously, I'm not saying that you leave all your screws hanging down. That would be absurd. So I just hope that clears that up. I thought I'd better put that detail in. So actually, we've got a, a, a bonus tip in, in this video. We're just about to start um, tacking this, uh, this lean-to extension. Um, I did do a little video on that, a time-lapse video. You can check that out uh, if you're interested. Um, we're gonna, we've, put, um, we've insulated it, obviously, and then we've got 25mm uh, of uh, insulation across the top. And what we're going to do now is start tacking it. Now, what I find helps um, is uh, to ping a line across and then put a baton on. You can see what we've done there. And what that basically means is that when we're up there on these steps, we've got a sort of um, board swinging over our heads and it's on the angle, it's not flat. Um, it just helps, uh, you can lean it up against that baton, which is that line, it just makes things a lot easier. It only takes a few moments to ping that line and put that baton on. Um, and it just, as I said, just makes it a bit easier when you're putting that board up. You'll notice here that the, um, the V-luxes aren't in. Um, this section's remained untarred because they're monocouching above it. So basically they do that off the battens. Um, but we'll plasterboard straight across here and cut those openings out afterwards. So there, as carpenters, obviously we spend a lot of time working with wood, but also, um, <coughs> excuse me, plasterboard, not that dissimilar, um, just a different product obviously, but you can manipulate it the same way as wood in terms of measuring, cutting and fixing. So obviously still do a little bit of tacking, uh, carpenters do make quite good tackers actually, so 
uh, got that little job done, and now there's some boxing and stuff to do all the rest of this job. So, uh, hope you found that little tip helpful. Thanks for watching.